As a man, having your finances in check should be amongst your top priorities. This isn't to say that you become greedy or overly obsessed with vanity and cash. Because remember, that too is temporary. However, having your finances in check so you can support your family and help fellow brothers shouldn't be dismissed. You wouldn't believe how many marriages, relationships and friendships end because of money. Just look around you. You will find many of these people amongst your own social circles as well. I was reading about some famous people who have practiced seat retention. You may already know some of them, such as Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and even Elon Musk. But one small story really struck out to me. This man is called Sarvesh Shashi, who is a 28-year-old Indian entrepreneur. He runs a yoga and wellness empire, now worth well over $15 million. He has established 35-plus yoga studios across India under the name of Sarva and designed 25 yoga styles. They include basketball and paddleboat yoga. Before even turning 30, this man, often called the CEO of Monks, did a lot. He flew in a private jet with Jennifer Lopez, chilled at a private rampage with Dwayne Johnson and Naomi Campbell for the company. But there's just one thing he hasn't ever done, and that is sex. Props to the man for not falling victim to his environment, even though he was between rappers and celebrities that are infamous for hookups. While being a virgin is not a story, it becomes so when someone practices it in this capitalistic world. So, to swear off what many of us consider integral to healthy living, shout out to self-conquering. Self-conquering makes the process of addiction recovery and habit building fun, motivational, and consistent. As we often say on this channel, the art of seed retention isn't just holding in your seed. It's about using that energy to build up other better habits. That's exactly what the Indian man achieved. Along with retaining his seed, he gave up on drinking, smoking, lying, and stealing. According to his guru, cutting out these distractions was essential for Shashi to gain the type of success he saw. And just think about this for a second. The man runs a yoga business. Do you know what else yoga is known for besides health? That's right, the tight arousing clothing. No matter how excited hot yoga enthusiasts got him, his willpower became solid hard over the years. From 500 BC to the present, seed retention developed from a yogic tradition to modern men online swearing off sex, prawn, and spilling seed. This Indian man did exactly that and managed to go for more than 13 years. Once you as a man reach this point, then spilling your seed happens out of choice. Not by being seduced to your inner urges. This is the idea of the whole clean living philosophy. But how is professional success connected to seed retention? Isn't spilling off supposed to be a therapeutic form of releasing stress that fills your body with happiness and latent endorphins? How does being a veteran virgin help someone become a millionaire? Well, this is what the Indian fabstronaut had to say for himself. Listen closely for yourself. I guess I was looking to find some kind of satisfaction and fulfillment. Growing up, I was very arrogant and always fought with people who hurt my ego. I wanted to be a cricketer and did yoga, as my father believed it would help me play the sport. But I could see how learning from my guru taught me to be calm. And it took away my anger and ego a lot. Moreover, it helped me establish a sense of trust and belief in my elders. So when he asked me to live under five presets, including celibacy and seed retention, I followed his advice. I had already experienced his presence making a meaningful change in my life. So how does staying away from sex and self-pleasure accelerate your career? Remember, your seed emits and elevates your energy. There are two things you must know at all times. One, seed is powerful. And two, it is responsible for the creation of all life. So when you channel that creative energy into your brain through meditation, celibacy, and retention, it will take away all distractions and help you become goal-focused. By concentrating that energy on achieving desires beyond sex, it will give you the strength to achieve everything. When you spill out, it drains your energy to a few pathetic moments of pleasure. 
but with abstinence, you will be able to divert that energy. Because remember, your attention and energy is more valuable than your money. I will say that again. Your attention and energy is more valuable than your money. Why? Because your ability to make money, your health, your connections all are dependent on your attention and energy. The next time you think about giving in to your urges, stop for a second and think, would I throw my money randomly on the streets? If not, then why am I randomly spilling out something that is more valuable than the money in my account? It's all about being aware of your feelings and channeling them into productive activities instead of making mistakes. Acknowledging your mistake isn't wrong. However, it's not something you can do overnight. You have to discipline yourself and change your lifestyle. Think back to the first time you lifted weights. Did you immediately hit that 100 kg on the bench press? No. You had to build up. Same with your mind and self-control. Build it up. Slowly begin to callous yourself so you go from someone who tries not to spill to someone who just doesn't even think about it because it's way below you. For some of you who are heavily addicted, start slow by going for 11 days and eventually do it for 40 days, just like progressive overload in the gym. The other aspect is to change your perspective about sexual desires. Instead of objectifying an attractive woman for sex, one should think about how you can meaningfully connect and improve your life. And not opting for sexual desires disciplines your mind by filtering short-term disgraceful urges. A common question most men ask when starting seed retention is this. Are there any side effects of retaining? The brutal truth is yes. There are going to be side effects. Initially, you may feel suppressed and irritable with what we call blue balls. But as you discipline yourself, you realize that you drain less and become more energetic and mindful. You will also begin to experience lesser wet dreams. One reason could be that our dreams are influenced by our subconscious thoughts. And since you now rarely have sexual thoughts, hence, you won't have to spill over in your dreams. By the way, don't forget to show some love. Tap that subscribe button and hit like for the algorithm. To see the next best way to level up as a man, watch these videos here.